Alrighty, so these are the cards that we're going to make. This is the one made with a rubber stamp. And then we've got two love cards that are foiled. I don't know if you can see the foiling. And it's three-dimensional. When you touch it, it's raised. So the supplies that we're going to need is the Aline's Tack It Over and Over Glue. You can get it at Walmart, um, craft stores, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. And then we're going to use a high polymer eraser, or they have this Pentec office eraser that you can get at uh, Walmart or any Staples, whatever. And we're going to use a regular rubber stamp. I imagine that you could use your clear stamps, although I haven't tried it yet, but I don't see any reason why not. And then we're going to use the Heidi Swap um, Mink, M-I-N-C, uh, foiling that you can buy for the machines. Right now, Joann's has them on clearance. Comes in a lot of colors. I don't have all the colors, but it's... Uh, 12 inches long and 120 inch long roll. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend, because it takes about three to four hours for the Aline's Tacket Over Glue to dry, and you want it to dry almost clear. So we're going to pretend that we're going to make this. And when you're doing this, don't drag your bottle onto your paper or your card because you're going to leave lines. So you're pretty much wanting to hold it straight up and down and make your letters or on this one where I did the heart or whatever design you're wanting to make. So make sure that you're doing it straight up and down. Then you're going to let it set for about three hours. You can, you, you'll see when it comes out it's kind of white like Elmer's glue and it's going to uh, dry to almost a clear color and it's going to be nice and tacky. So what we're going to do is you're going to take one of the Heidi Swap boxes and you're going to cut you off a piece of foil. This is one that I've already used. See how it's red on one side or whatever color you picked out and then it's a dull silver on the other side. Even though I've already used that, there's still a lot of red left. So you can get a lot of uses out of just one piece. You can see where I did the flower for this card. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your dried piece and you're just going to put your foil over it. And you're going to smush it with your finger. Try to get up next to it. If you want, you can take a bone folder and get up next to it, but I find that using my finger and getting up next to it actually works better for me. And you're just going to kind of rub it around, try to get into all the little cracks and crevices that your design has. Okay, so can you see that where it's where I've pressed up in there? And then you're just going to take it and you're going to peel it off. Now see some of the white that's left? That's more of the tack it over and over that isn't foiled yet. So you're just going to slap that back down and keep pulling it off and on and get those covered up. Any place that isn't foiled, it's going to do exactly what the name of the glue is. Be tacky. Tack it over and over. So you want to make sure that you're getting every piece of that covered. Now as you can see right around this L, see the inside edge there where it's still white? You're going to have to make sure that when you're putting this foil on you're getting up to that edge. See how much of the foil just came off right there? And so you're going to do the whole thing until you've got it completely done. Now to do the flowers what you're going to do is you're going to take a regular rubber stamp and you're going to take a piece of scratch paper and you're going to make a nice pile of glue there and another little piece of scratch paper 
and you're just going to go like this to where you make kind of like a flat ink pad type surface. Now, when you go to do this, you're going to put it on there and get it nice. I'm not going to do it, but you're going to put it on there and you're going to get it nice and covered, just like you would for an ink stamp. And then you're going to take another piece of your card or scrapbook paper, whatever you're doing, and you're going to press down. And you're going to come up with the same kind of whiteness like this. Now to do this one, it probably only takes about an hour to dry because it's not as thick as writing a name or something. But once it dries, you're going to take and, and do just like you did on the words. Um, to do the green stems, I cut off a little piece of green. And I just went and wiggled it down here to where it was just on the stem, pushed it in, and so then I had my green stem. You want to do your small detail first. When you get that part done, then you can go in and do your whole flower. And just keep pressing and pushing and pressing and pushing, pulling it up, putting it down, until you come out with this. So you could actually use several different colors, and they have like 12 colors of these. Um, I only have the five. That's all I wanted. It's the colors I thought I would use. So when you get all the way done, some of the um, places will have a little spot left, like right here you can see where there's a little bit there and I don't want it there. This is where your high polymer eraser or your Pentec office eraser comes in handy because you can just go in there and you can just erase that part away so it's not on your design. See, it's gone. And when you, I forgot to tell you, as soon as you get this um, inked up with your, with your glue and you make your glue print immediately, stop everything else, take an old toothbrush or an old denture brush, put a little piece of Dawn dish soap on there and scrub that really good because if not, your glue will stick inside of your rubber stamp and then you won't be able to get it out very easily. So immediately while it's still wet, go wash your stamp rinse it off, set it to the side, and dry. And I think that's all I needed to tell you. Thank you.